Hello everyone. I am going to play with my lighting here. I guess natural lighting is better. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, oh, that's interesting. My, my phone light is on. Who knew? Okay. Sorry. Anyway. Hello. I'm here to do a flip through of this latest ring bound journal and really enjoying making these ring bound journals. They're all made from these Reader's Digest books, and they just have a really nice feel to them. Like they're they're full without being crazy bulky, and I just imagine them fitting into your bag, your backpack, or just really enjoying it. So this is a travel themed one. It's a Reader's Digest cover, and it's got two two inch um, book rings. The inside of the front and the back cover are both Tim Holtz travel-themed, um, uh, what do they call it, fabric. Let me just check my frame. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get into it. This first bit is a, and if, well, here's a travel pen, um, not travel pen, flat pen. Flat pen goes in every journal. This is an ephemeral folder and it's made from cardstock and a real vintage match map of Palermo. And it has a little magnetic closure there. You open it up and it's just got some vellum uh, pockets with some real vintage stamps, some faux vintage ephemera from Tim Holtz that are travel themed, some real vintage um, tickets and a little envelope and a little card. So that just closes right there and then your flat pen is a paper clip and it just paper clips to that there you go um this is a uh made from tim holtz cardstock and it has a little windy closure it has a cute little charm that says love courage adventure on it and it is an expandable folder um gusseted and in it is just a, an extra spare little journal with uh, aged paper. So that slides in there. You can either keep it in there or you can pop it someplace else on your shelf until you need it and use that to store other things. Um, these came out really great. I'm really thrilled with how these came out. This is a um, an altered envelope. It's just a, a manila number 12 envelope. And I've covered it in real vintage map. And I've made two tags here. This, These are both made from Tim Holtz paper with some travel theme stamps on the front and the back. I just loved how, huh, I just liked how that came out. So that tucks in there. And the other slides I have snipped open the top of that envelope and that just slides right in slides right in there of course it went really easily before <gasps> there goes my fabric okay um all right and then it flips over and there are three things on the back as well so you can see the, what I've done is I've just folded over the bottom of the envelope and it creates a tuck spot there. I snipped off this edge for a pocket here and there's also a tuck in there. So this card with an adventure quote goes in the tuck. It says, a journey is a person itself. No two are alike. And all plans, safeguards, policing, and coercion are fruitless. We find that after years of struggle that we do not take a trip. A trip takes us. And that's by John Steinbeck. Okay, and in the little pockety bit is um, some vintage aged paper uh, with a real vintage map that has some coffee stained um, paper to reinforce it. And that slides into the pocket. And then here's a journaling card. This map is um, like a Tim Holtz or a card, not Tim Holtz though. It's like a scrapbook paper map. And that tucks into the tuck there. Okay, now this one here, this is Tim Holtz paper, 
and this is a tuck in the in the front bit here and that has another adventure quote journaling card and this quote says the first condition of understanding a foreign country is to smell it and that's by rudyard kipling and i have a little stamp there and that flips over and it opens up and there's some journaling paper in there there is another one of those journaling cards tucked into that side as well as two adventure quote journaling cards tucked in there travel is fatal to prejudice bigotry and narrow-mindedness and many of our people need it sorely on these accounts and that's by mark twain and this is the world is a book and those who do not travel read only a page and that's from attributed to saint augustine and those tuck in there and here's another altered envelope this one I did a little bit differently. This is actually one of the, the envelope flap that I reinforced with some book page. And there's a um, Michael Palin quote there. And this whole one opens up to reveal a um, another journal with coffee stain paper. And that pops in there. And then on the back of this one is another spot for three things. So there's those three things so I flip the envelope and you get the tuck the pocket and the tuck the big um, tag goes in the tuck that says adventure is worthwhile in itself by Amelia Earhart this one is a quote by Helen Keller and that one is goes in the pocket part and then there's another little card that goes in the tuck part. So that goes there. And this is another, um, this is made from the cardstock. And this is, this was an off cut that I just made into a little, another little journaling place. Like that. Um, and that closes up, winds around there and tucks there. And then you flip it. There's more of that Baker's twine and there's a stamp there. And there's a tuck with a card in that spot. And more journaling pads. This one has a three hole pamphlet stitch and another um, tag. And then finally, this last bit is a foldy outie. There is a tall tag on the front page of the fold out and that is made from uh, Tim Holtz paper and then that flips open and it reveals two library park pockets with some little journaling cards in them there and there they're covered with real vintage map from an atlas <coughs> excuse me but the cards are cardstock and then it opens this way and there is some mixed media paper for sketching and a pocket with some um, vintage book page. Now this just, I made the pocket and I was casting around my desk and I happened to see this and I thought, oh my gosh, I wonder if that will fit. And voila, without any further trimming, it just fit. I was so excited. And that is the back flap. So this is available currently in my Etsy store. Um, and if you have, I think these, these ring bound journals would make really great graduation gifts. If you have a, a know of a student who's finishing up college or high school and maybe is, has a yen to, for adventure and travel, I think this one goes in more. I'm gonna have to. Oh, you know what? Maybe I got them switched. I think that's what I did. I think that I got them switched. Um, so anyway, there we go. That slides in beautifully and that tucks in there. Um, so yeah, so there it is. Thank you so much for watching and um, have a great day. Hope you're well. Bye-bye.